All right, we're checking out the only game where the best way to help the planet is to eat everyone on it. It's effin' Worms 2. So in effin' Worms 2, you start as a sad little worm with bat wings. I have no idea why you would have that because I'm I'm not really sure that is a typical evolutionary trait of a w worm. What is down here? Why is there just a random gecko crawling around? Are you, were you left behind by the dinosaurs or something? In Florida, we have a lot of geckos. This is not where they live, so it's very odd. Now, here's the plan. Is that man wearing a pot on his head? Just due to your fashion choices? <laughs> Sorry. Now, obviously, our job here is to find the most broken, overpowered build that we can and then go completely infinite. As time goes on, you gain more and more size as the worm until, I don't know, I don't know if there's a limit or what, but my plan is I want to eventually just become bigger than the screen and break the game. Ah, uh, there's our first size. All right, so enemies left five. Do the geckos count as enemies? Because down here in Florida, they absolutely are. I'm sorry, all you guys wanted to do was get to work. Well, maybe you didn't want to get to work. Maybe I'm doing the favor. Okay, evolution center, shorter worm, or longer worm. So you want to be quicker or do you want to be bigger and slow but have more health? 50% more health! As I understand it, as time goes on, the military starts throwing, I don't know, tanks and mech warriors and things at you. So I feel like, is that an yeah. cat? It is. Oh, I love strawberry Pop-Tarts. Come here. <laughs> it makes a little sound when you get them. Who gave the guys with pots on their heads guns anyway? I'm not really sure if that was a great idea. Kind of like unskilled gun labor. I, I don't know if that's the best thing to do with it. Ooh. Oh, you can... Hold on a second. I thought my wings were kind of pointless, but they enable you to fly. <laughs> oh no, I'm the terror of the skies. If Jack Sparrow was the scourge of the seas, I am the scourge of the sky. Come here, Nyankas, there's no way. Is that a jet? Can you eat the jet? Hold on, I need, to f I need to find something out. How high, I can't really go very high yet with my little sad bat wings. Ow, and the bombs really hurt. Sorry, chicken, I do love chicken. Both to eat and because they're cute. Not the chicken breasts I eat are cute, the live, you know what I mean. New evolution counter, sleek spikes. Might get you killed. <laughs> Why would I want that? Jagged spikes, might poke out an eye. Uh, I kinda wanna just be invincible. <laughs> you know what, let's do this. At this point, our hit points should be so ridiculous. 50% hit point seems really unfair. Oh, so now there's, uh, now there's armored vehicles over here that we're dealing with. More Nyan cats. Oh, I can jump higher now. Oh yeah. Oh, I might be able to eat a jet. Not really sure how you eat a bunch of steel but I'm not oh wow is that an airliner up there can you eat the airliner I want to know what a delta jet tastes like I can absolutely eat these planes I just need one to fall into my mouth hold on I can kind of get close to the airliner too you can kind of porpoise <gasps> let this happen oh let this happen if not this level then next level we're 100% going to be able oh you can you get speed upgrades too I didn't know that so health is definitely the way to go because I don't know if you get health for free. And I can also just eat these lizards under here. They're very nutritious. They taste kind of depressing though. All right, two opponents left. It's gonna end up being pot helmet guy and sad Nyan cat. Okay, so now it's skin mutation. No more hunger pains. Absorb ground nutrients or massive mouth during rampage. I can just eat dirt and heal. Wait, isn't that what worms kind of do? Uh, so does this mean I don't? <gasps> I don't take damage down here anymore. I'm just invincible. I could just sit down here forever. There's no way for me to lose. Look, <laughs> it's not timed or anything. And if I'm ever hurt, I could just eat this endless supply of lizards. Is that a man with a bazooka sitting on the back of a smiling cow? Why is this cow smiling? Are you smiling now? Also, there's dudes with jetpacks. I really appreciate that the militaries of the world have come together finally in order to defeat the worm opposition. This is what it took in order to get mankind to work together. I'm gonna go for uh, I'm gonna go for a big rampage here, but I haven't forgot about the plane. I still definitely want to eat the plane. You can see I'm I'm oh now there's stealth bombers as well. Okay, come here, come here. You look delicious. No, don't you run from me. It's like a shark coming out of the water. <gasps> yes! I got to eat my very first plane. It's like a worm rite of passage, you know. Okay, so my speed continues to increase. And like I said, I can, if, I, if I'm ever kind of hurt, I can just 
eat these lizards. They're delicious. All right, one more remaining. So now we can get another upgrade. Okay, Evolution Center is, what? <laughs> Where are these upgrades going? It's just flames. You light yourself on fire. Or minus 50% mine damage. Mine damage? Oh, from the mines. So normally I would just go with less damage, but I kind of feel like when I'm rampaging, I'd want to be faster so I can eat more people so I can heal more. I want to know what this looks like. Plus, I, I also want to be the scariest worm to ever be seen. Okay. Okay, I'm literally just an on fire worm. This is incredible. Also, just due to the speed that you get from the upgrades. I, oh, there's helicopters now too. I'm so fast that, were those superheroes? I'm pretty sure there was just superheroes on my screen. At least that's what it looked like. Come here. I could take out planes with no issue now. That means that the jet airliner, oh, it's on the menu, boys. It's right there. More planes. Come on, give it to me. Yes! You can take out the plane! Oh, no! Nothing is safe! Come here. Oh, I can float! I'm basically flying, realistically. Like, if you look at it, I'm legitimately just flying through the air. Look, look. I can just sit up here. I don't even have to live on the ground. I can just fly forever. Uh, you would've, I would have thought that there's some kind of limitation to how long I can stay in the air, but apparently not. Are there like space stations up here? I'm kind of curious to know if there is. <laughs> we'll probably try and go limitlessly into the sky just to see. I want to know if there's like an end to the sky box or something. Okay, so I, I need to finish this up. I need two more, uh, you know, counting individuals to eat. So I need another Nyan cat or I don't know, like a chicken. Okay, so it was a Nyan cat at the end. Highest combo is times 30. Too. This number is slowly starting to get insane. All right, what else we got? What else we got? Shredder teeth. Metal heals you. <gasps> mouth tentacles. Uh, bigger mouth or metal heals you. Metal heals you. This has to be it because as the world gets more and more progressed with their technology, more stuff is gonna be metal, right? Plus, now I can just eat planes in the air. So now, not only can I heal underground. Oh wow. Not only can I heal underground, all these different things heal me. Look at it, look at how ridiculous. Oh, it heals you for a lot too. I feel so bad for Captain America, this isn't his fault. Also, I'm raging nonstop now. The mines and stuff do damage, but I'm not sure it does enough damage because I just keep growing in my power level and I can eat all of these planes and tanks and it just gives me more and more health. I, I already finished that level. I hadn't even been thinking about it. I've just been eating, which I guess is the, the entire point of the worm. All right, what's, I mean, what, what could the final evolution? Mega jump or vacuum? Uh, so jumping is cool, but I have an idea. We're going to pick the mega vacuum. Okay, so now, the game is limitless. What does the vacuum do? Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at how ridiculous the vacuum is. Is there any limit to how far you can like get in size? If there's not, obviously we have to go infinite. Now the other thing is, if you remember, I said we can just do this. Like if, I, if I'm ever concerned about losing too much health, I could just go up into space and just eat everything up there. Okay, here's the plan. I think I figured out how to live in complete and total invincibility. The mines are the things that does some damage to us, okay? Because we didn't take the negative 50% to the mine damage. But if I stay just above the ground, floating like a graceful butterfly, I never touch the mines and the speed and the size just keep going up around a 409 combo. This is just limitless. We're Go okay, we're going for the entire screen now. I can tell you. Also, I'm so strong at this point that I don't even think that the mines can do enough damage because the problem is I'm healing from the metal. So all I have to do is just suck in all of the planes and the tanks and the helicopters and I'm back to full immediately. On top of that, I'm nonstop raging. 
so I'm going super fast anyway. And I didn't need the mouth size upgrade because my mouth is becoming stupid in size just due to the sheer size of the word. I'm bigger than all the skyscrapers. This isn't big enough. These are rookie numbers. The only thing I will say is I'm slowly giving myself carpal tunnel syndrome because you can't just hold down on the vacuum. You have to press it every single time. <laughs> oh, now, hopefully, eventually, I won't even need the vacuum. I don't probably need the vacuum. My mouth is so large right now that it's covering half of the screen naturally. Let's do a jump. Hold on. <gasps> there are. There's space. There's stuff in space to eat. <laughs> it's just space shuttle. Oh my, I can leave the planet. How far does this vacuum extend? Oh my God. Not big enough yet. I don't care. Greystone place won't accept my mouth only taking up half the screen. The thing is too, is as you do this, you don't just gain size, right? You keep getting more and more speed. So what's happening is I'm just going faster. And so even if mankind could somehow damage me, I heal so quickly because of how fast I'm going. So the rampage never ends. So it's just a flaming worm eating all of mankind. This isn't enough though. We're still not big enough. I'm I'm losing the rest of the screen. There's there's not there's almost no more screen left. And just like it's nothing, I can jump into space and destroy the entirety of the planet. Look, I'm not even using the vacuum anymore. The vacuum now extends all the way to the ground if I stay in the middle of the screen. Now you may be saying to yourself, Gray, your mouth is now basically the almost the entire screen, three fourths of the screen. Haven't you caused enough destruction yet? No, no, I told you. We're not stopping until the mouth is the size of the screen. When the only thing on this screen in my, is my head, then I will be satisfied. Look at how fast the upgrades come now. Also, look at how fast you can barely see it because there's almost nothing on this screen that isn't my worm. Look at how fast we go. This, this worm is going to not only be indestructible and able to eat the entire planet in one gulp, it's also going to move at light speed. We have effectively made a light speed any matter eating worm i don't eat people i eat matter as long as it exists in some form of consumable state i can eat it oh god i don't even think i can rest underground anymore i mean i'm invincible so it really doesn't matter oh i can just barely hold on i need to get my i need to get my rampage back which should only take you know about two seconds there we go i can still see part of the screen we're not big enough yet i also have to mention there's a couple of options here at this point i mean mankind has no chance there's there's nothing they can do if you notice look at my health my health doesn't move they can't do one hit point of damage because they don't get to enter the screen to do the damage. And the only other option is kill me. <laughs> I need to get so big that I can just rest on the ground and still eat. We're almost there. The tiniest sliver of blue sky is the only thing that's left. I can go completely out of the stratosphere. Look at it. <laughs> that's the only time you get to see the full worm too. <laughs> So we did it. There's nothing left of the game. It's just my head. <laughs> There's nothing left. I have now consumed all of humanity, basically, or I can. You'll have to take my word from for it because the game itself doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> anyway, folks, hope you enjoyed this episode of F and Worms 2. Until next time, stay foxy and much love. <laughs>